New funding for the Granby school budget means fewer layoffs. But 22 News reporter Matt Karen is live at our Hampshire County Bureau to explain why the problem is far from solved. The extra $346,000 approved at Granby's town meeting was like putting a Band-Aid on a cut that needs stitches. After weeks of protesting teacher layoffs and program cuts, good news for the town of Granby. Superintendent Cheryl Stanton told 22 News they'll only need to lay off five teaching positions down from 9.4. At a recent town meeting, an extra nearly $350,000 was approved for the school's budget. That brings their total budget for the year up to $7.9 million, still less than last year. But the extra money may not be enough to solve the problem of low enrollment. We've had a lot of people leave in the past couple of years from my grade and, you know, my brother's grade has other kids leaving for better school systems. So hopefully with the new, you know, money and stuff like that, that will be able to keep the students in the town of Granby. The superintendent told 22 News low enrollment is a problem facing many rural school districts. She said she appreciates the town support and understands they need a more permanent fix. It was a healthy debate at town meeting. Uh, certainly everyone understands that um, this is an issue uh, that is going to be facing Granby uh, as we move forward. Um, funding is a concern. Uh, we've talked about uh, funding at the state level, um, how that formula for Chapter 70 is under review. The extra funding means Granby will be reinstating elementary school band and chorus and that class sizes will be smaller. Wrap it. Superintendent Stanton told 22 News they haven't notified the staff which positions will be reinstated yet, but she told 22 News that the principal position will not be one of them. Live at our Hampshire County Bureau in Northampton, Matt Karen, 22 News.